Welcome to our final episode of this school year. I'm Oriana Ratzloff. And I'm Shailen Bannister. For our first story today, we'll take a look at Mr. Kenny's psychology class to learn more about an experiment that they recently performed. You're about to ex participate in an experiment concerning people's visual judgments. For the last project of the year, psychology class had an interesting experiment. What we did was we um, invited students and adults and we told them they were doing an experiment on depth perception. We had everybody in the class gave us a, a line chart that would be our baseline on the left and then three lines on the right. And as we scrolled through those slides, they had to pick which one they thought matched the one on the left. The experiment was a one. test of conformity. One. 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 I think I did pretty good. Um, but it was kind of hard because the first person, they said their answer, so you just want to base it off theirs because you don't want to get it wrong. What we found was that uh, five adults that we did, um, two of them conformed. In it, it seemed pretty easy, you know, when I first went in there, you know, but everybody over here was saying, you know, this, this same number, and they'd get to me, and I was like, oh, does that, that's not, may not be the number that I was going to pick. Well, I wasn't quite sure, but I felt like I was being tested. On one of them, I said what the one I thought it was, and on the other one, I went along with the group. <laughs> we had two of them that did not conform at all. They went their own opinion. And then we had a total anti-conformer. She chose the last question wrong, even though the students said the right one. She did not want to agree with everybody else. With the students, we found that there was only out of the 10, only two that conformed. We found that the students were less to conform than were the adults. For PTB, this is Hannah Sato. Although most students are ready to put away the books for the summer, there's still a lot to be learned over the break. Several teachers are working together to create a vegetable garden. Alyssa Fawcett tells us more on this. This semester, Miss Suchland decided to team up with other teachers and start a school garden. Our main goal is just kind of to learn about gardening, increasing our ecological footprint, uh, self-sustaining type things, as well as maybe providing a little produce for the facts class next fall. Mr. Fullman's ag classes are also pitching in. We every year grow some bedding plants, uh, tomatoes, peppers, those kinds of things. Uh, we actually cut up potatoes and do some of those kind of act raise these in buckets. And uh, so what we did was we, the things that we produced and did that way, our goal was to give those to Mrs. Suchland so she could use it. Students gain gardening experience while also having fun in the process. It's a really cool idea, really cool idea for our school to like get involved with nature and stuff. And so just building a garden and helping our school out, it's pretty cool. Well, when I'm old and alone, I hope I can find comfort in doing a garden because I've learned how to do it in my, so my junior year environmental. <laughs> For PTV, this is Alyssa Fawcett. The FCCLA started the month of May off right by creating May baskets as a fundraiser. Haley Bruner has this report. After that story, stay tuned to learn some shocking secrets from our senior class. This year, FCCLA celebrates May Day by making May baskets. Happy May Day! <laughs> Come in. Oh, we don't need to, but we are just leaving this for you. It's from the oars. And they wanted to wish you happy May Day. Well, thank you. Um, earlier this year, when FCCLA started trying to decide what types of activities we wanted to do and what types of fundraisers, we thought that May Baskets would be a nice idea. And so we offered people the opportunity to buy a May Basket for $5. They could let us know where they wanted it to be delivered. And they could also tell us if they wanted the person to get a message or if they wanted it to be a surprise. And so we wrapped the May Baskets in tissue with a little bow and a note from the person if they chose to have a note. This fundraiser wasn't just about making money. We did it for the fun and many people got surprised. Hello. Oh, happy May Day! Wow. 
Well, thank you. How come I get this? Well, the Lydex bought it for you. Oh, they did? Yes. Golly. So they said thank thanks you. for everything you do for them, and you have a great May Day. Well, thank you. This is really neat. For PTV, this is Haley Bruner. My senior confession would have to be that I got away with not wearing shoes for the first two months of school. <laughs> My confession is I skipped class to take naps in the wrestling room a couple times. My senior confession is that I have gray hair already at age 18. <sighs> okay, so last year when I was in Algebra 2 class, we were in the process of doing our homework and uh, it was really quiet in the room and um, I had to lean over to get like I think it was a calculator or something and it was so quiet dead quiet in the room and like I accidentally ripped one and it was so loud and I like instantly like jerked back up and I'm like Oh no, and I like, I'm, I'm looking at my book and I'm like hoping no one sees me or like, <laughs> like knew it was me. And so like Maddie and Tatum were, were just like started laughing. Everyone's just dying of laughter and didn't know who it was. And um, Maddie was like, Christopher, because Chris Lunsford was the only boy in our class at the time and he sat right in front of me. And so, and like, or someone said Christopher, and so he was like, that was most definitely Shylin. And so like, it was, everyone was laughing. Mrs. Jarvis didn't know what was going on. She like, didn't hear it apparently. And so like, it was so embarrassing and people still make fun of it, of me till this day. Hmm, I did not know that. But what I do know is that there seems to be a lot of students participating in state competitions lately. Here's a look at how the journalism team and the forensics team did at state competition. As the forensic season comes to an end, some participants try to finish the year on a good note. We are at State Forensics at Wichita East High School. I participated in IDA, which is Improvised Duet Acting, with my sister Jocelyn. And then I also participated in duet acting with my sister Jocelyn as well. And we did be the best we've ever done in it. I'm really excited. I really think I did well um, on second round, and I'm really excited to compete for third round, too. But not everybody had a good start. Today I competed in extemporaneous speaking and humorous solo, and I think I've done... I hope I do better throughout the day. I'm performing in serious solo for state champs. First round was really awful, um, but I think it's just because I was really tired. So I'm hoping that as the day goes on, it gets much better. What? No. Nice. I thought I did so bad. The competition wasn't the only thing that excited members of the forensics team. At our hotel, we could go swimming, or we could play all these different arcade games, or we could go work out, or we could just hang out in the room, or just walk around. We actually worked out a little bit, so... <laughs> Now that the season is over, it's time for seniors to say goodbye. It's a little bit sad for my last meet since I'm a senior and all, but I think it'll be fun. I definitely have to like mourn the loss over the forensics part of me, and because now this is the last time I'll ever dip into that part of who I am. So it's kind of like a bittersweet moment, like I'm graduating, but it's the last time I'll ever compete. Find your niche, you know, there's so many options and there's like a niche for everyone. Find what you're good at and just dedicate your time to that. You do something like you can have fun in and that you're passionate about. And that's all. Stay classy, Phil's High. For PTV, this is Layla Karim. The PHS journalism staff headed to Lawrence to compete in the KSPA state contest. Overall, we placed fourth in the 3A division. We had four contests that we placed in, and so Maggie Momberg won her contest with advertising. She placed first. Um, Layla Karam placed honorable mention in photo illustration. Um, Shailene Bannister placed honorable mention in uh, academics photography. And then we had a group of four girls that consisted of Alex Babcock, Caitlin Swanson, Morgan Wagner, and Rachel Brandon. And they placed honorable mention with their, um, they called it multimedia design, which was basically they created a web page. The journalism staff also took time to have some fun on the trip. 
shopping in Sky Zone because we were just, I don't know, all happy about it. The trip included a tour of KSNT where students learned more about broadcast journalism. For PTV, this is Danica Hanchett. Remember when we were freshmen and we had to walk to school? Yeah, one time I had to walk home in a blizzard. Aw, I'm sorry. Well, luckily now we get to drive to school, but some other students have another form of transportation. Let's take a look. Standing out in a sea of cars, senior Kinsey Ratliff drives a vehicle not quite like the others. I've only been riding it for about six months. Most of that was winter, so I didn't even get to ride it. I got it in November, which is a really inconvenient time to buy a motorcycle, because then you have to wait a while. So this spring was really exciting once it started getting warm and I could start riding it. I've had a couple of people ask me if I'll give them rides, but I'm kind of scared right now. I don't quite trust myself enough yet for that. The love of riding bikes runs in Kinsey's family with her sister and her brother. My brother and my sister actually picked up my bike for me. They live in Manhattan. They drove about an hour on my brother's bike and so my sister rode at home. It's just kind of like an adrenaline rush, like it's always really exhilarating and it always feels like you're going way faster when you're on a bike because like the ground's there and it's, it's scary, like, I don't know, it's fun. For PTV, this is Shylan Bannister. Last week, our track teams traveled to Russell for a track meet. I traveled with the Panthers to bring back this report. The PHS track team went to compete in Russell, Kansas on May 6th. Uh, we had a very good day. Uh, the weather was uh, pretty nice, pretty warm, a little bit windy early on, but uh, uh, we got started off well. The track team doesn't call Russell PR City for nothing. Um, today is pretty good. I PR'd in two events. I got seventh in javelin, eighth in shot, and ninth in discus. I PR'd in two events. And I got second in the in second in the 200, fourth in the 100, and I did really bad in triple jump. So let's not talk about that. Of course, there's always room for improvement. Oh yeah, there's always a chance to get better, but uh, uh, we'll continue to work and uh, hopefully see some progress come league meet next week. I could definitely come improve on this because it'll make me faster. Good luck to the track teams today as they compete at the MCL tournament in Smith Center. Good luck to the golfers as well as they compete in TMP today to try to reclaim the MCL title. Earlier this week, the PHS golfers hosted a tournament. Samantha Pruitt tells us how that went. Golfers tee off at the Mel Schwimmer Invitational Meet held in Phillipsburg. Well, the golf tournament's going pretty smooth so far. We had a little lightning to kind of worry about earlier on, but we didn't have to stop any play. It was north of town. and. Uh, we should be done a good time tonight. The sun's kind of out now, and uh, we should be good to go. The golf team not only battled weather, but also tough competition. There's some good teams here today. Uh, TMP's got a good team. Plainville's got a good team. Norton's uh, playing well. TMP played pretty well, I think. Uh, Norton had some good scores. Coach Sides has high expectations for his senior golfers. We need uh, three seniors, Clay Ward and, and Cameron Tweedy, and and Blake Verbus to play well today and on Thursday. As a team, like I think we're all shooting, you know, rather low, but we could always improve. Everybody was about in the 80, so that's not bad. Uh, my goal is to shoot 80. If I par out right now, I shoot an 84. Uh, I feel like I did pretty good. I mean, I came in thinking I'd shoot 75, a little higher than that maybe, and I ended up shooting a 73, so I thought I achieved my goal pretty well. Phillipsburg placed third in this tournament, but are aiming to place higher later in the season. I'm hoping we can come out with the league championship. Uh, we know we got to play some good golf, so uh, we'll be ready on Thursday, and then hopefully we can keep going from there. Regionals, I don't think, is, isn't too tough, so hopefully we can place well there and get our whole team going. Uh, this, this tournament's always a good gauge going into our league tournament on Thursday. I, I feel like our kids uh, get some confidence here playing at home and kind of get us ready for that uh, tournament down. And it's going to be at Fort Hayes this year, the 18-hole course. So it'll be a challenge. There's uh, four or five teams that can win the league championship this year, and hopefully uh, we can pull it out. For PTV, this is Samantha Pruitt. To wrap up the year and to honor PHS athletes, the Booster Club held the annual athletic banquet. Savannah Ewing has that report. The annual athletic banquet introduced five inductees to the Wall of Fame on May 1st. The purpose is to establish a method of honoring Phillipsburg, 
top student athletes and individuals who have had a positive impact on the local community and to provide role models for today's student athletes. So I'm going to start off with Mr. John Mason. Well, this is a true honor for me. I have traveled all over the world and, I, and received a lot of awards and receiving an award from our high school is probably the most uh, precious award I've ever ever won because this is where my roots started right here in Phillipsburg and, and uh, I'm just really thankful for the community and for the students and, and I just love this town and I love this school. Student athletes were also recognized for their hard work. I received the Ironman Award for the 2015 football season. It was, it was an honor because it was all, it, I was voted on by the teammates and stuff, so it's pretty cool. I lettered in cheer and tennis and I was recognized for making it to state tennis. It felt really good to be recognized for all my accomplishments. I lettered in football and wrestling and I got most improved football player. I was quite excited. I thought it was quite an accomplishment. At the athletic banquet, I just like to see mostly the seniors getting their awards for their hard work all through the years and this, the special ones that, that a lot of the sports give out, I think, have a lot of meaning for the kids. For PTV, this is Savannah Ewing. Okay, sometimes when I go to the bathroom, I don't wash my hands. My senior confession is, Gabe, this one's for you. You're actually adopted. My sophomore year in high school, I met the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Uh, her name was Bumika Bhakta, and I've had a crush on her ever since. <sighs> Blake Vervis? Once in kindergarten, I stole a hot tamale from a free hot tamale stand, and I wanted to get rid of the evidence, so I gave it to my teacher, and I put it in her her Valentine's candy box to get rid of the evidence. If you're looking for a summer sport to participate in, you may want to consider being a Phillipsburg Piranha on the swim team. Practices are weekdays from 8 till 10 a.m. at the Aquatic Center. Coaches this season are Wyatt Conrad, Lisa Schmidt, Maggie Malmberg, and Deb Weizar. Contact a coach or go to the Phillipsburg Piranha Facebook page for more information. That's it for sports. Back to you, Shyland and Oriana. Now it's time for our story about photo moms. Wait, we have a story about being photo bombed? No, I said photo moms. It's kind of like our own PHS paparazzi. Or should I say mamarazzi? Oh, brother. Many moms in Phillipsburg enjoy photography and have been doing it for several years. I have actually, I went to college. I got a major in photojournalism in college, so I've been doing this for a long time. Well, Probably back in high school, I took a photography class, and that's back when we had a dark room, and we had to develop our own pictures. I was also on the yearbook staff. I think that's what formed my interest in photography. I began photography many years ago, back in junior high. I just always had a camera with me at everything I did, and always took pictures, and I, I just loved doing it. Sometimes, photography runs in the family. When growing up, my dad took lots of pictures, and uh, I've just always enjoyed taking pictures. Um, when I was younger, I grew up in a big family and we didn't um, have lots of pictures growing up. So I think that's why I enjoy taking pictures so much of the kids so that they have the memories to look back on. Photography has kind of been a family affair for us. I have gotten my, star my daughter started in photography through 4-H, all three of them, and they uh, every year have made it to the state fair. So it's just a great hobby to have. and be able to share your work and be able to share photography with others. Many community members enjoy the photographs these moms provide. Everyone loves them. Everyone loves to get pictures of their kids doing various activities, so it's always fun to get great responses back. I post a lot of pictures on Facebook, and so that's where a lot of people get to see my work, get to see my pictures, and I've been getting a lot of um, positive feedback from the pictures that I take at different activities. For PTV, this is Riley Breton. Okay, uh, I'm a wrestler now, and when I was in fourth and fifth grade, I went to KU basketball camp for four days at a time, and I stayed in the dorms. So, kind of spent a lot of money on basketball camps to be a wrestler. <laughs> okay, so like our first day of freshman year, 
or sophomore, I don't remember. We had to do um, a presentation for Mr. Sides and it was like all about yourself. And someone put, they were working on their presentation and they put something they're good at was babysitting and then I put on there even though you're not very good at it. So then during the presentations they saw babysitting even though I'm not very good at it and got all embarrassed and then like started clicking through the slides real fast, so. Whenever I'm not feeling a class period, I just go to the bathroom and scroll on Pinterest. I actually hate Hannah Pugh. She thinks I love her, but really? Queen Hannah, or like the evil queen? Okay, so Larissa might tell you that she doesn't like me very much, but she's wrong, okay? Like, we are best friends. We are like, tight, okay? She's mainly just jealous because I'm the queen. We do appreciate those who take pictures at our events and share them. It's a great way to capture some fun memories. Our senior class has shared some fun memories as well. After this next segment on graduation, stay tuned to our tribute to our awesome class of 2016 with our traditional PTV senior song. 36 PHS seniors earned their diplomas at the 2016 commencement. The valedictorians were Jillian Gibson, Suzanne Huntley, and Hannah Peek. We gained a vast number of students, but the ones that we find most important to use now and in the future are humor, patience, love, courage, and gratitude. After speeches were given and diplomas awarded, students shared their excitement about graduation. Um, it feels good to be graduated. The part I was nervous about was the speech, so I'm just glad the speech is over. I was shaking like a leaf. I'm really excited that I get to move on and go to college. I am so happy that I graduated and it's super exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the class of 2016. For PTV, this is Alicia Hernandez. Seniors, done with PHS, walk out the front doors. No more fiscus notes and learning about wars. Assignments are all done, no more Google Classroom, huh? Fun times with 2016, fun times with 2016. Goodbye to chemistry, so long anatomy, ah. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Covey, and I, you seen your heart. Go find our destiny, go find our destiny. Pose for a selfie. And post it on our Twitter or Instagram. Let's celebrate and go crazy, crazy. I, 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 I. Now we're all done. Our graduation. Walk with me, baby. March down the aisle and get our diploma. Let's celebrate and go crazy, crazy. I, 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 I. Now we're all done. Our graduation. Seniors, time to graduate, go get your future. Good times are ahead, now go be super. We earned our caps and gowns, flip the tassel, tassel off. Fun times with 2016, fun times with 2016. Goodbye to chemistry, so long anatomy. Oh, goodbye, goodbye Mr. Mr. Covey, and I'll you see your heart. Go find our destiny, go find our destiny. Post for a selfie and post it on our Twitter or Instagram. Let's celebrate and go crazy, crazy. I, 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 I. Now we're all done. Our graduation. Walk with me, baby. Launch down the aisle and get our diploma. Let's celebrate and go crazy, crazy. I, 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 now we're all done, our graduation. I, 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 now we're all done, our graduation. Mm -hmm. I, 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 now we're all done, our graduation. We finally finished. 2016 Pose for a selfie 
and post it on our Twitter or Instagram. Let's celebrate and go crazy, crazy. I, 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 now we're all done. Our graduation. Walk with me, baby. March down the aisle and get our diploma. Let's celebrate and go crazy, crazy. I, 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 I. now we're all done. Our graduation. Our PTV crew would like to thank all of you who allowed us to interview you and film you throughout this school year. This summer, all of this year's episodes will play on Next Tech Channel 153 in case you want to look back on the happenings of this school year. We're also planning on producing a summer episode that we'll work on over the summer and air on the first day of school. That wraps up our final episode. I'm Oriana Ratzliff. And I'm Shailen Bannister. Stay classy, Phillipsburg High.